Many of the people leaving Louisiana are from Lake Charles, which was one of the hardest hit areas by Laura back in August. Channel 2's Jonathan Martinez continues our team coverage from there. Guys, pretty much all day and all night, there's been a steady stream of cars heading west here along I-10. As Hurricane Delta inches closer to the coastline, many here in Louisiana are choosing to head out, especially considering they dealt with a hurricane less than two months ago. Tens of thousands of folks leaving Louisiana and heading to Texas to escape Hurricane Delta. This storm was getting a little bit too close to the Baton Rouge area, which is where my mom is from. And we made plans to get her out of harm's way pretty early. Uh, we're going to pack all our stuff up again and uh, head to Houston. For Luke Styron and his wife Ashley, it'll be the second time they've had to leave Lake Charles in as many months because of a storm. Only six weeks ago, Hurricane Laura badly damaged their home. It's, it's overwhelming. It's hard to swallow right now. It's, um, we, we really need a break from this. About an hour away and closer to the coast, the few still living and working in Cameron, Louisiana, are not taking any chances and are heading out. Almost every home and business here was badly damaged, if not destroyed, by Hurricane Laura. I feel so bad for the people of this community. I really do. Uh, they've been through a lot, and as you can see, it's not over. As a window of opportunity to evacuate quickly closes, many choosing to leave are praying they have something to come back to. I'm hoping to come home to our house standing so that we can continue repairs. It's scary. It's very scary. I mean, we were fortunate the first time. We're we going to be fortunate this time. Here in Calcasieu Parish, where Lake Charles is, there is a mandatory evacuation order in place. There is also a curfew in place from 7 p.m. at night until 6 a.m. in the morning until further notice. Reporting from Lake Charles, Louisiana, I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Our thanks.